Welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Our next conversation is going to be on the, the resident doctor's strike and, of course, uh, negotiations with the federal government that don't seem to be making any headway. Also, uh, yesterday we're, um, we announced that, of course, the River State uh, uh, um, you know, faction of the National Association of Resident Doctors has also pulled out of the strike, saying that the River State government has, of course, uh, you know, made promises to them and they will go back to work. This morning, we're speaking with Dr. Jerry Sogun, who is uh, the Secretary General, National uh, Association of Resident Doctors. Good morning, Dr. Jerry. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, latest uh, stories say that the negotiations are still ongoing. Yesterday, of course, came to another deadlock. There was no agreement. Can you give us, you know, updates on what exactly played out yesterday and where we are currently with the strike? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, uh, yesterday, the negotiation ended. Uh, obviously, the, the Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable uh, Tanko Sununu, who is the chairman of the committee on Earth, and his committee members tried to wade into the issues. But uh, most of the issues uh, were still met with uh, bottlenecks by different government uh, agencies, those in charge of uh, regularizing. Uh, uh, employment and payment of our members are still standing. So, as we as speak, our members' grievances uh, couldn't be addressed. But most of them that have worked for four months, they said yesterday that they needed time to re validate uh, uh, the process. But to say, so we, we, we were wondering if uh, the negotiator actually concerned about the, uh, the, the, the uh, suffering of Nigeria. So we got to meet and we told, at this point, uh, we recall that this strike uh, was resumed on the 2nd of August. This strike was on the 1st of April. The same uh, the negotiation happened to the point that uh, uh, the Honorable Speaker himself came to our Secretary at the We told that all these issues uh, would be addressed. Um, the, 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 our members on that on business platform adapted. We did about uh, three, three to four months a like day. And they ordered and they were, they were, that they should be paid. You know, when that payment was made, we told them the only thing to be done to prevent reaccumulation of this uh, uh, unpaid salary is migrate them to IT platform. You know, since then, nothing was done. So it takes this strike for them to not come to be paid after another four months of accumulation of salary. You know, people working without salary. It takes another strike. You know, having met with them separately or this issue, those that are going to sleep on. They are going to do this work. So now, we are saying they need to reevaluate, we need to be that they should go back to work. If you go back to work, who is going back to the work? The same people that are going four months, and we are saying that these people have said they cannot go back to work. So that was the deadlock. Uh, help, help us understand what they cannot go back to work. Doctor, it's all going. So it's an emergency. It's a desperate movement, and to take desperate measures. Yeah. People are still saying they want to go for uh, this meeting, political meeting, or the other people, stakeholders that should sit down and address this issue. Doctor, Doctor yeah. Jerry, oh, kindly hold on. Uh, can you help us understand what the government's defense is here? If you're coming to negotiate, is it that they forgot the agreements that were made months ago when the strike was suspended, or they are trying to change the details of that agreement, and that's the reason they hadn't met up with with the memorandum of action? So, what exactly yeah. are, uh, is the government coming to the negotiation table with? That is what we are saying, you know, part of the agreement after that time. You know, you know, this whole issue has monetary part and non-monetary part. We are talking about the monetary part, because we, we, a, a worker deserves his wages. Where we are now is just the, the, the monetary state, the basic thing to do to pay somebody that has work. Part of that agreement was that these people that you have employed and they have worked for you, they said they, were, they are on the platform that is not regular, which the government is no longer using. Migrate 
them to that platform. Usually, when you employ and people are on that platform, you migrate them from that platform to the regular platform where you pay salary regularly, automatically. You don't need to pay manually. You understand know what I'm saying? Now, we agreed that, okay, pay them after the last agreement. And it was contained in the memorandum of action that before the end of April, these people would have been captured and migrated so that we don't have issues of pay salaries again. This is August. That was not done. That is part of the reason why this fight comes again. And Nigerians need to know, no, we are on the negotiation on the table again now. It is now that those that were supposed to have done this job are telling the you know, committee, the House of Representatives Committee on Air, that they have challenges on the way the people were engaged. So it is now that you want to go about revalidation of this process. You know, between that April and now, that the, the model of fashion, the timeline, the model of fashion has enlarged. We have been engaging you on this issue. Are you did it? express all of this. You didn't even do what you are promising now that you will do. You didn't do it any more people. It is now that strike is over. You are saying that we should not go and call out the strike. You will be asking out the process of revalidation of this people before you pay them. But the bond of contention is that this post pay me before I go back to work. So Nigeria has to know where the problem lies. So, Dr. Isogu, um, when we look at the history of the government and negotiations, right, even if this when we look at the history of government and negotiations with associations and how we see that, you know, they make, uh, you know, resolutions and they breach it later on, even if this last meeting with uh, the resident doctors did not end in a deadlock, do you think the doctors have faith? That the government to go ahead and implement, you know, the resolutions of, you know, whatever they decide. So your, your line was not very clear. But, I, but if, if, if I heard you clearly, you are talking about implementation of what exactly is yes. Yes, that's what we are talking about. You know, they signed so many agreements. It's not just about salaries of our members. There are other issues in that agreement that is signed. As we speak today. The issue of hazard allowance to, to, to all air workers. All of you are aware that we had a series of meetings you know, on this same issue. As we speak, you know, both uh, the Nigerian Medical Station and the US, they have come with different positions. But as a government, we have not had any pronouncement for that. They have not even made a pronouncement that people be, that people rejected. They have just gone to sleep. And another wave of COVID has come. And you expect people to continue to work. You know, everybody is true. In that same agreement, there is, you know, salary area that they have, they have been going since 2014, 2014, 2015, and 2016. This issue is still left on top. On top. Just yesterday, we discussed it, and people that are supposed to have submitted this, and this just there, they are saying that, oh, where do we supposed to have submitted? They have not submitted. So we see lethargy on the part of government. When you finish an a, a, a negotiation and you have an agreement, they just go to sleep. So and what do you, you think? You what do you think the challenge is, Doctor Isogu? So you, you say they, they they reach agreement and then they just go to sleep. The question is why? What do you think the challenge is for the monetary parts of the grievances of the doctors? Is it that the government are saying that they do not have enough funds to go ahead and pay salaries? Is it the insincerity of purpose that we've heard from the NARD? What do you think the challenge is? You know that makes there be a glitch between when the government signs an agreement and when they implement it? No, I should speak. I'm not to share with you. They have not come up to tell us that they don't have money. They are just bringing unnecessary drug cases. You know, in the whole uh, process, it's, it's making it very uh, uh, complex. But as we speak now, what they cannot deny is that there are a group of persons that have rendered services to Nigeria these persons were paid last time because of a strike. Now we are on strike again. You are now saying, after another four months. So they have not said that these people have not worked. And in fact, if you are saying go back to work, it's the same people you are saying should go to work. And we have said that then those two people cannot even treat Nigerians very well. And this is a major factor in the ongoing brain drain that is happening in this country. Mm. So as a patriotic Nigerian, I'm a leader today. They need to do something to stay this, this, this uh, ugly trend of brain trend. 
one of the factors that we have identified is the way the people that are managing the tech sector in this country are behaving. You cannot put me into action and you expect me to continue to work. All right. Five my way, I will get out of the country. So yeah. all of us need to do something urgently to stop this. As we speak, there are still another problem in the state which is contained in the, in the, in the communique that we issued about this time. Our members in the state employ of uh, different state government, they are suffering. We have members in other states, we have members in other states yeah, you know, so that have been home for 19 months. People in Imo State, they have been for uh, you know, 10 months. People in Ekiti, they have for 6 months. People in London, they have for 4 months. How do they expect people to survive? All right, Dr. Sogwa, I want you to... This whole issue. Yeah, now, we now we're speaking... The uh, state government that is doing very well. The state, the state government, as we speak, has done all the things that we are asking, even the federal government to do, including the MRTF that we are asking for. The aspect. So, why would other states not do the same thing? All right. Uh, Dr. Isogo, I, I want you to react now to the, now we're talking states, the River State chapter of the NARD. Uh, that has decided to pull out of the strike and go back to work. They, they of course, had said that the River State government had made promises that, you know, these um, commitments, would, they would, um, you know, fulfill them. Uh, so what's your reaction to that? Is, is that in any way, you know, good news? No, no, what, what happened there is, like you said, um, just promises that they made to the government that they would do what we are asking for. And so we are, we are going to deal with that issue you know, when, when this whole uh, uh, process is over. Because all we want is for our members to be treated you know, properly, the way they should. So if they give promises, they should go ahead and fulfill those promises. Okay, but it's, it's not in any way taking off steam from the, from the uh, purpose of the strike, now that you're having a chapter deciding to pull out. No, no, we are united. We are united. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an in-house state, the in internal mechanism of the obsession where it is going to deal with that. But, like I said, if what they have done now is seen as a good, it should be reciprocated by the government. Yes. Okay, now, now um, one of the concerns, you know, and we have to bring this up, you know, the, the concerns of the patients and those who are going to be at the receiving end. I understand that doctors have been on the receiving end for many months, uh, working without pay. Um, but I, I want, you know, a message from the NERD concerning patients who have to go to hospitals and don't have enough qualified medical professionals, uh, medical personnel to attend to them now that the re resident doctors are on strike. So for our patients, we are very concerned about them. And that is why the, uh, uh, the strike committee, we have been out here, you know, available for negotiation. We want everybody to come together and ask the people, the players in the ex sector, to do the needful. We cannot go for a negotiation and we come out of there, and, and, and yet the, 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 the government is still exposing their insincerity. If they are sincere, they think call for an emergency. Everybody should sit down, address this issue. There should be people, the government of this country, to give instructions to agencies of government that they employ to do the needful for the sake of the Nigerian citizens. They should do what they should do. They should face the people that are causing this strike to, to, to do what they should do. Oh. And including you in the, in the, in the, in the uh, journalist, I think you should be calling these people to order because you agree with me that you will not continue to work. If you are not paid for two months, not to talk of three, four, five, six months, you will not work. You will close down your studio. Okay. Um, can you confirm for us when the next uh, meeting is meant to hold and, um, you know, what we should be expecting from that meeting? We're going for a meeting to the Minister of Health, uh, that, 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 that was what uh, was stated yesterday. So we are going there because we are out to get resolution. We are determined to resolve this issue as quickly as possible for the sake of our patients. So we are valuable. And, you know, finally, you're, you're saying that the NARD is not calling off the strike if the government does not fulfill the promises made in the memorandum of action and no longer promises. There has to be actual action. It's simple. The people are upset. Pay us for what we have worked for 
for the work we have done. So we're able to go back to work. The people are hungry. The people cannot even work it. Look at it from that perspective. The hungry uh, person is an angry person. The person cannot work again. So that is the perspective you should look at it from. Hmm. Interesting right. perspectives there. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Jerry, for your time. Wow. Um, I really wonder how, how long we would continue to discuss this. This is, this is an old story. It's an uh, old topic. Dr. Strike has to strike. Yeah, I'm it's, just going to say that. You know, if you're thinking of how long you're going to discuss this, you know, it's possible that you might be discussing Asu again. Uh, or Asup again, your Sanu, you know, there's, there's always one or the other. Or NLC might be in Kaduna again, um, you know, striking. So there's, it's, it's. I mean, I, I remember speaking to um, the president of the um, ARD in Lagos, and one of the things he mentioned was just how this affects the mentality of these doctors. And a question he asked me that really stuck with me was what sort of care do you expect from a doctor? who has not been paid salaries for months, who probably has his rent due, his family needs money to feed, he, you know, their bills he needs to pay, his kids need to be in school, he's not received salaries, he's not getting income from any other source. It's from the government work he does to basically save lives. And then he's not getting any of that. He has challenges on the home front because of that financial issue. And he asks, what sort of care do you expect such a person to give? I mean, for a doctor to be able to dispense quality care, he should be cared for as well. And yeah. I don't, I, I wonder if that to be too much to ask. And seeing the trend of insincerity that these doctors are calling it, you know, on the part of the governor or of, of the government, that you sign an agreement and you go ahead to breach that, you know, it yeah, really doesn't tell, tell a lot of the That's why I was asking, of the people uh, in power. Dr. Isogun, uh, what is the government coming to the negotiation table with? Is it, oh, we forgot, sorry, or... Like help we, me need, we need photocopies help, of the MOA. <laughs> help me understand, you know, what, what it Man. is, what, what, what is the conversation like that we had an agreement more than 100 days ago. You signed on a memorandum of understanding. You didn't fulfill any of those things in memorandum of understanding. So what else we is that to We mentioned we're going to go on strike. Now we're on strike. So what exactly are we coming to discuss? Is it that you forgot? Or, you know, the government needs more time to implement these things or they need to renegotiate and, you know, say that some of these things, well, it might take, you know, might be difficult for the government to pull up now. Um, what exactly? Like when, when they meet at that table, what, what is the conversation like um, from the government side? And that's what we, we don't seem to be hearing. And we're not also getting any um, feedback from the Minister, Minister of Labor and, of course, um, 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 Ministry of Health. We're not getting any answers from them to understand what exactly went wrong with those negotiations and if any any other body because I, it was in the news not long ago that asu might be considering going on an, another strike so when when they make these promises what exactly happens between making the promise and the next strike and you know when you go back to the negotiation table is it do they get by and say ah oh, long time or uh, we're back again what, what exactly goes on? Oh, sorry, okay. I can't wait for... Good to see you again. I can't wait for Nigerians to begin to experience leadership where the government says, we will solve this, and they actually solve it. For now, that, that doesn't seem to be happening. Well, well, I don't know. This is where we wrap up the Wednesday morning edition of The Breakfast. Thank you very much for uh, being with us and for spending your time with the, um, you know, the show this morning. If you missed out on any of these conversations, remember to catch up on uh, Plus uh, TV Africa's uh, mm -hmm. social media handles. It's so simply Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel and also the new YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Osao Gie Ogbawa. And I am Aneta Felix. Bye-bye.